Most of the time you can fix issues related to windows update by resetting windows update components. This process involves stopping various windows update services, renaming the software distribution and cat root 2 folders and then restarting the windows update services again. And all this is done by executing various commands back to back in command prompt window. The process is difficult for those users who don't have much knowledge about how to execute these commands. In this video I am going to share a simple way that will make resetting windows update component easier. So let's learn the method. Before we move forward we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages us in creating similar videos. First of all download windows update component reset.bat file from the link in the description. Don't worry this bat file is 100% safe. Extract the zip file to obtain the .bat file. Right click on it, select properties and then check the box for unblock next to security. Click apply and ok. After that double click to run .bat file and when USC dialog box appear, click yes to continue. This will launch command prompt window and start resetting the windows update components. During this time the command will try to stop and restart various services which includes windows update service, cryptographic service, background intelligence transfer service, MSI installer. Apart from this it will rename software distribution folder to software distribution.old and catroot2 folder to catroot2.old. The whole process will take around uh, 30 seconds to 1 minute. Once resetting windows update component is done, you will see a message that is please save and close anything open now before the computer is restarted. Here hit enter to continue. Once again press any key and this will instantly restart your computer. After restart, try checking for updates again by going to settings, windows update. This process should reset the windows update components and resolve any issue you may be experiencing. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe the channel for getting notifications about when we upload new videos. Also donate by clicking the thanks button below as this encourages us to create similar videos. Thanks for watching.